What's going on everybody? It's your man Cole Hastings. Welcome to the website if you're viewing it on my website, but you might be also watching this on YouTube. Either way, welcome. This video is going to be all about my brand logo, how I decided to design it, what it represents, and we are going to go through the speed art for this logo. So before I even thought about designing it, thought about what it's going to look like, I knew, I've known since I wanted to create a brand, that I wanted to design it from scratch. And that meant just using a stylus on my computer with my two-in-one laptop, drawing it from scratch in Adobe Illustrator. I'm super proud with how this managed to turn out, and I'm proud that you guys got some input in it too. It's not just designed by me. I also got some feedback and from that feedback, I was able to redesign it into something that we all can be proud of as a community of my brand. But also designing a logo, I really wanted it to represent who I am as a person, which is just this weird, creative, artistic person, which is why I decided to design it from scratch. So with that all out of the way, we're gonna get into the speed art right now. I'm gonna have some commentary over it as well. We're gonna talk about what the brand logo represents. We're gonna talk about the process of making the logo and you guys are gonna see the end result. I do hope you enjoy. All right, here we go with the logo creation. So we're starting in Adobe Illustrator. I'm using my stylus, like I said. And first off, we gotta make that cube. And this is tough, let me tell you guys. Without any outline, without putting a layer of an actual cube under this, which is what I definitely should have done if I'm being quite honest. But like I said, I wanted to do this from scratch with no help to make it just as authentic as possible. And that's what I was able to do because of it. So I'm trying to be a bit of a perfectionist here. It's a little tough to make a cube when you're not following anything, honestly. I'm not a professional artist or anything. I just really love designing art. And that's also why I loved making my website and loved the whole process of it. And now we are getting into the coloring part. I didn't show you me just filling in with orange because I don't know, that takes a second and you don't need to see that. So first off, we decided to do a little shading around the edges. I thought that would look pretty good with just a shading of that regular orange. By the way, this logo, this piece of tofu was supposed to symbolize a grilled charred block of seasoned tofu. So that's one, why the reason it's orange and number two, why you're about to see these lines. And you can see small glimpses of the picture I was referring to. Uh, you kind of saw it right there, I think you did. So that was what I was trying to recreate. Uh, you can pause the video if you wanna see that. You guys are gonna know by the end of this video what you thought of it, what the people who actually responded to my poll thought of it. Maybe you were one of them. So we're going through the process of trying to perfect this, trying to make it look amazing. And it is a bit of a process, definitely, definitely the grill marks, especially. I was trying to get some shading going, and then I start trying to add some seasoning to it or some dots to it, just to add more texture to it, because I didn't just like the block of tofu with the fill and the outer shading. So I tried to do a little bit of stuff there with some different type of textures. Didn't work. You'll see some other textures by the end of this video. But now I'm going to talk about what this brand logo represents. I wanna talk about why I made the logo the way it is and why I'm deciding to make this brand the way it is. By the way, you guys are seeing the seasoning, how it would have looked like had the pull not gone up. So this brand logo is all about compassion towards all beings. What I mean by that is we need to start being more compassionate to the average person person on the conventional American diet or wherever you live, most diets consist of animal products. And I understand that that's bad. And I understand that, you know, animal agriculture is terrible. It's terrible what it's doing to the environment and going vegan can improve your health. It improves the environment and it saves the animals. And that's fantastic. That's what I love about veganism. What I don't love about veganism is the rep behind the community. And why do we have this rep? Why do you think it is? Because people are going off on social media, yelling, debating. I, I really don't like the amount of debates that go on between meat eaters and between vegans. It's just, it's so much to take in. I've never been a 
bit of a debater myself. I just don't believe in arguing. I don't think there's a point to it because no one wins in the end. So what this brand really represents is changing the culture of the vegan community. How are we gonna do that? Through this merchandise, through this brand, I want you to evoke a type of lifestyle. A vegan lifestyle, of course, but a type of lifestyle that is, when you see somebody, you say, hey, do you wanna try this vegan diet? They're like, I don't know, I have some, some doubts about it. And you can say, oh, it's okay. I mean, there's a lot of great things about this diet and there's a lot of things that will benefit you. I think you should just try maybe reducing your meat consumption a little bit. If you don't, it's totally okay. That's the key thing here, guys. If you don't, it's totally okay. That is how we should view this. It should be okay that there are meat eaters in the world, that there are people who consume animal products. It's okay if people are doing this. We shouldn't be shouting at them. We shouldn't be getting at angry at all the people who are eating animal products. I understand there's a lot of people who are very compassionate about this lifestyle, and I am as well, but I want the culture to be more understanding of people who eat animal products. By the way, guys, this is just the process of making this puddle, which actually didn't make it into the final cut. Just wanted to say that right there. But yeah, it's, it's all about being more understanding towards the average meat eater. So if someone is trying very hard to go vegan, if they're reducing their meat consumption, you shouldn't be saying stuff like, Oh, well, you're still eating meat. You're still eating meat six of the seven days of the week. I don't care if you're doing meatless Monday. That ain't shit. You don't say stuff like that. That is not going to make someone want to transition even more to a vegan diet. They're going to give it up because of your cold mentality towards people who are eating these animal products. So what I want us to do is be more kind and understanding of certain situations. So let's say someone has a family tradition which requires them, you know, to eat a piece of cake or eat like a tiny piece of chocolate or something like that. It should be okay and they should still be considered vegan. We have to be more understanding of people's backgrounds, of people's subjective realities. Everyone thinks they're right in the vegan community and that's the problem. Am I saying consuming animal products is right? No, I'm not. I'm saying we just need to be more friendly towards these people. If anyone is making strides to transition to a vegan diet, give them some moral support. Let's change the culture of the vegan community together. I know we can do this and be more compassionate and understanding towards all beings. Do not be rash or harsh to those who eat animal products. Show them what this diet can do and show them with very deep understanding. So as you guys can see here, this is it. This is the final logo that I decided to go with. And I thought it turned out pretty amazing in my opinion. I thought it turned out great. So I decided to take it to the Instagram polls because what matters more is your guys' opinion. I don't want to just put it up there and say, hey, I love this, so it's okay. That's totally not okay. I needed you guys to be okay with it too, and I wanted you guys to have a logo that represented you and your attitude towards my brand. So I took it to the Instagram polls, and you guys did not seem to like it too much. And at first I was a little devastated because I spent hours and hours on this for about a week. I spent a couple hours a day, maybe a week and a half. I spent a couple hours a day working on this logo and I was pretty devastated. I was like, wow, uh, so I guess it didn't turn out that great. But I totally understand it now. I should have gave more context as to what it was. It's this season block to, to, of tofu that I told you guys with the char, but it still needed changing for sure. So I decided I should get rid of the lines. That should be my first step. I think that's really what's uh, bugging people is are these lines. So I got rid of those and I took it back to the Instagram polls. People said they liked it more. And so I looked at it and I'm like, this still needs a little something more. So I decided to design a face for it. And I thought this face really represented the brand well as well. It had a nice little smirk and a little bit of angriness in the eyes, but not too much. So it was like, hey, I'm, I'm compassionate about this lifestyle. I think the vegan lifestyle is the right lifestyle. But if you are not totally vegan, if you are still consuming animal products, if you're still trying to get there, if you are making strides 
towards bettering the world, the animals, and anything in general, then I'll accept you and I think that's okay and I'm happy with what you're doing yourself. And so, this is what the logo turned out to look like. And I think it looks great. I think you guys had a lot of say in it and I'm happy about that as well. But it also still represents me enough and represents me in a great way. So this is it guys. This is the logo you are seeing and that is how it came to be. I'm super, super happy with how it turned out. So that is it. That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you understand the message of my brand a little more thoroughly. I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope you did enjoy the speed art. As always, leave a comment, send me a DM, send me a message as to what you think about this. And that's gonna be it. So I will see you all later.